Adopting an older child can be a difficult transition, not just for him or her, but for parents as well. Remember the backlash an American woman received who adopted a boy from Russia only to send him back after a few days? Well, Terry Degner, the author of My Brave Little Man, believes that he knows why she could have done such a thing. From personal experience, he says it's because older children who've been abandoned often come with baggage, and if adoptive parents aren't prepared to react to that child in a loving way, it can certainly be disastrous. And Terry joins us now with more on his personal and oftentimes painful memoir. Hi, Terry. Hi. Let's talk a little bit about this. First of all, you say one of the most important things in your life was a role model. Yes. And as an adoptive child, sometimes those are kind of hard to come by because of that baggage that they bring into those situations. Very much so. And, uh, and in fact, I was talking to somebody today uh, about my parents uh, and what they did for me, my adoptive parents, mm -hmm. of course. Uh, and, and they weren't the best parents in the world because they had not had children and it was a real struggle for them but what they were was role models yes and tell, tell us patient, a little bit go ahead. patient and loving and, and kind loving, you were yes, saying and yes. accepting because but you not did in a physical way Right. In an accepting way. Right. You know? Which I think is a difficult thing because, as we said, when you came into that family, I've read a little bit about your background, it was pretty volatile. I mean, there were some things that you didn't even know how to understand and accept. But before we get to that, let's talk a little bit about that last day that you saw your mother. Yeah. She was a single mom raising three kids, yep. and she took you to the orphanage. And, what, and tell us a little bit about that. The, uh, well... The, the orphanage made the mistake. This is not the first time I ran away. The orphanage made the mistake uh, one b day before I met my adopted parents of telling me where she was at. Mm. Now, I didn't know that she had already given up her rights to us. Mm -hmm. uh, and within the hour, I was gone. Yeah. I ran away. Right. Uh, and uh, I, it took me about two and a half hours uh, going in locations I had never been before, asking strangers the directions. Uh, and yes, I did find her. I found her at St. Scholastic, is up you? in Duluth. Uh, and her and I uh, uh, had some moments in, in the back, uh, in the garden, uh, and it was at that time that I promised her I'd come back and find her. Yeah. Do you have a relationship with her today? you got to read the book. Yeah, okay. You're like, no, I'm going to give any of that away, woman. So in your, let's talk just briefly about how your parents have changed your life and why it is that you came to write this book. Well, the, the let's start with why I read, wrote, wrote the book. Mm -hmm. uh, I couldn't read or write when I was adopted, uh, so I repeated second grade. A wonderful second grade teacher uh, took me aside for six months. She taught me to read, uh, and within by the time I was out of fourth grade, I had finished A Tale of Two Cities. Mm -hmm. uh, wow. And it was somewhere around well the age of 12 that I made the promise that I would, when I got older, when mm -hmm. I was an adult, mm -hmm. uh, actually a senior, I would write, senior, I'd write this book. Uh, and, and I, I did. I was yeah. fortunate enough to be able to do that. And then just real briefly, we're out of time, unfortunately. So yes, we are going to have to read the book. And your, your parents, to, to this day, still so incredibly grateful. You write oh. about them a lot in your book. Oh, I, I do. And my mother is 95. I just talked to her <laughs> before I came in here to let her know what was going on. Did you? She, yes. She's like my just, mom. Got to yeah. keep her finger on the oh, pulse yeah, of everything, absolutely. right? <laughs> absolutely. Well, this is so exciting. And again, um, such a, a, a touching memoir. I think it's, it's really educational, it's enlightening, it's informative, it's tender. If you would like to meet Terry, there's going to be a book signing, Barnes & Noble, downtown Rochester on Thursday, this coming Thursday, from 11 until 2, and uh, autograph uh, copies, I'm certain, right? Yep. Excellent. Hey, thank All you right. so much thank for joining you, us here today, Terry.